Hello and thank you for watching. My name is John and this is Crash Course in Maya version 2011 skinning series section 2 bind pose. In this video I want to talk about skinning, what is skinning, the skinning menu, how to attach a skin to a joint using default values, how to detach a skin from an object that has a skin on it, some differences between commonly used skinning methods and the bind pose. First, what is skinning? Skinning is where you influence the model's CVs or vertices so that they are deformed and manipulated by joints, deformers, and objects, as you can see right here. In this series of videos, I will be going over smooth bind, rigid bind, and a number of indirect influences, such as dynamic. The skinning menu is in the, in the animation menu. The top left corner is the main menu bar. Just click on that and go to animation or push F2 by default. Skin will be in the main menu on the right hand side between skeleton and constraint. Click on skin, you will see bind skin, detach skin, go to bind pose, edit smooth skin, and edit rigid skin. Strange as this may sound, I'm going to show you how to detach a skin on an object that has a skin before showing you how to attach one. The reason being is I already have three objects with skins and I can just attach it and reattach it for you real quick. To detach a skin, click on the object that has a skin, go to skin, and click detach skin. On the bottom right in your output, you will see slash slash result one. This is a mail script comment saying true. Now when I push play you will notice that the cylinder is no longer bending to the joints movement. To attach a basic skin select on a joint, toggle select your object, click skin, go to bind skin and click on smooth bind. When I push play, you will notice that the object is moving again with the uh, joints. Some differences between some uh, binding options. Smooth bind, as shown on the far left, is the primary organic bind. Each vertex or CV can have multiple influences and their weights can be dynamically painted and customized. As you can see, it is very smooth. You see bending and you can tell that each vertice has different uh, joints actually affecting it. Rigid bind, which is shown in the middle, CVs and vertices are bound to a single influence object, like a joint, and they are primarily used for mechanical models. That means the edges look rough unless you use flexors, which I'll discuss later. It is also important to note that rigid bind can actually calculate faster than smooth bind due to its simplicity. If you look closely at this elbow, you'll notice that it is a very sharp edge. There's no curves, there's no softness. Indirect binding, which is shown on the right, uses deformers instead of bones and joints for object manipulation. In this case, I used spheres instead of bones and joints. The bind pose happens when you actually uh, skin an object. In this scene you'll see that I have a really quick arm. With it I also made a couple of uh, joints. When you skin an object, so I'm going to click on the bone, toggle the joint, sorry, toggle the uh, model, skin, bind skin, smooth bind. With the binding, a node is created in the background that saves the attributes of the joints. So when I start moving the joints, instead of having to go back to every single joint and putting everything back to zero, I can actually click a specific joint, any joint whatsoever, go to skin, go to bind pose, and it'll snap back to its original position. Before you start skinning, you want to make sure that your joints are exactly where you want them because in order for you to change your bind pose you're going to actually have to detach the skin and move everything where you want it to 
then reattach it. What that means is all of the work you've done skinning, which is a long and tedious task, you have to redo. So that's it for this video. Next video I'm going to talk about smooth binding. I'm going to go into details of the option box, such as the bind to and the bind method, etc. I want to talk about painting weights, manipulating a vertex's skin weights, mirroring weights, adding an influence, and normalizing the weights. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.